Hello everyone, Analytics Sage, Saturday 7th of November 2020 and time is 20 to 3 a.m. Uh, UK time. I'm going to give you an update on gold and we will have a look at the daily chart more general view. Last video I published on gold, I was expecting to see sign of reversal in this box that I drawed in the video, but actually the market broke the rectangle this was the rectangle i was expecting to see a reversal that never happened so i'm deleting this and the market went all the way up so what is happening usually when market doesn't respect to the levels you have in mind you should go back to the daily chart and have a look at the market again so what i will do i will switch off all the unnecessary stuff and explain what has happened so the correction you're seeing here has quite a complex structure. So the correction is that W, then you have the wave X and then you have the wave Y. Okay, so this is the first leg of the correction <coughs> or end of the correction. So if we consider here as end of the correction, we are having one, two, probably one, two, and then three all the way up. But uh, there are reasons that I cannot accept this easily I will explain later there is a bearish model as well so the whole thing you see here wave W we are on X Y X wave X and then we will have X Y I see more chance for this although if you were following my video I was quite bullish on gold but there are a couple of things that uh, makes me not to accept the bullish model easily to be honest but what are those evidences so let's go to the four hour chart so you can see things better so if i have the assumption let me delete this trend channel that this is a wave w and we are on a wave x so wave X should return at 61.80% here and then we have to go all the way down. Now the wave X itself is made up of impulsive wave A, A, B, C corrective and then the last impulsive wave. So this last Im Im impulse that you see here could be a sign for the end of uptrend not a beginning of an uptrend and my calculation suggests that okay Elliot waves on and channel that this uh, impulsive wave should finish roughly near here in 1991 and if you look back to your left side you will see that it also corresponds with 61.8% of the wave W. This was wave W. So that's why I cannot easily accept because we are going to have a very strong resistance level. So there is a high chance for the market to get up all the way here. And then you will see a very, very strong uh, crash. Uh, usually in this case as what I do, if I see evidence for selling the market, I sell the market. So what might happen? The market can come down a little bit and then go all the way up. So in these cases, usually when I sell the market, when the market moves down, I bring my stop loss down. So in the case of reversal, I will end up a break even. But if the bearish model is correct, then you have to see a very crazy downtrend because that should be the last leg of the correction. Uh, what is happen? What will happen now? I'm waiting for the market to get to 1991. If I see selling evidence, I will sell the market, but I will be very careful because it's a uh, like a double blade sword. Sell the market. When the market goes down enough, I will bring my stop loss down. And because this, if the bearish model is right, this should be a very strong downtrend. So if the if the market is going to down we have to see a strong move but if we don't see any strong move then probably the market will go up uh, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions